Albert Einstein once said, learn from yesterday, live for today, hope for tomorrow. That statement brought home a harsh reality for our community today at the funeral for 16-year-old Deja Davis. And Matt Reed went to the celebration of Deja's life where lessons are still being taught. Deja Davis's education and life were cut short, but the lessons she left behind will live on. Deja planted a seed in all of us. We're going to make it grow. We're going to reach out. Surrounded by fellow teachers from Satchel Page Elementary School, the faculty reminded everyone in attendance what made Deja stand out from an early age. She was a fighter and she was about family. She loved her mom. It was that love of family that brought a premature end to her life. Over Thanksgiving, Deja wanted to help her godmother with dinner. Sometime during the day, police say both Deja and her godmother Loretta Petty were shot and killed by Petty's husband, Jerry Petty. Police shot Jerry Petty as he exited the house shooting at them. Hundreds of classmates, teachers, family, friends, and even people who never met Deja poured into Swope Parkway Church of Christ to try and make sense of the senseless act. Each one remembering and teaching each other with Deja's own words and actions. I've learned to take every moment and be passionate about it. And I think that in Deja's honor, she would want each and every one of us to do that. Today is a sad day. inspiring everyone to hold on to family and hope for a better tomorrow. Matt Reeb, NBC Action News. You mentioned hoping for a better tomorrow. Now, during the service, two community activists challenged the youth in the congregation to make a commitment in Deja's honor to cut the homicide rate in half next year. Oh, very important.